Let's take a look at the basic setup of the Change Printer plugin. This video will address these four areas. How to install and register the plugin on a Windows machine. How to install and register the plugin on a Mac machine. Where to find all available external plugin functions. And how to create a plugin checker script and hard code the registration process. Windows Plugin Installation and Registration In order to manually install the Change Printer plugin to work on a Windows machine, you will first need to download the plugin bundle from our site, which will look something like this. Since the bundle is zipped up for protection, the next step is to unzip or extract the contents of the bundle. This can be done by either right-clicking on the zip file and selecting Extract All, or by double-clicking on the file and selecting Extract All Files. This is an important and necessary step on a Windows machine. With FileMaker closed, I will copy the actual plugin and paste the plugin into the FileMaker Extensions folder located here. You have now successfully installed the plugin, so let's register. This plugin splash screen will disappear once we have registered a licensed copy of the plugin. You have the option to manually register the plugin from the demo file provided, or your developer can hard code the registration process in your solution, which will be discussed later in this video. For demonstration purposes, let's begin FileMaker, open the FileMaker demo file that came with the plugin, and manually register. Here I can see the plugin operating mode and plugin version installed. Currently I am running in unregistered mode. To manually register, simply enter your license ID or use the demo license provided and select the register plugin button. If running in demo mode, please be mindful of the demo limitations and timeouts. Next, let's demonstrate how you install and register the plugin on a Mac machine. Download the plugin bundle from our site, which will look like this. Ensure that FileMaker is closed. Copy the actual plugin. And paste the plugin into the FileMaker extensions folder located here. You have now successfully installed the plugin. Let's begin registration. Let's begin by opening FileMaker and opening the demo file that came with the plugin so we can manually register. This plugin splash screen will disappear once we have registered a licensed plugin version. Here I can see that my machine is running in unregistered mode. Simply enter your license ID or use the demo license and select the register the plugin button. Remember, your developer can also hard code the registration process in your solution, which will be discussed later in this video. Now let's take a look at all external Change Printer plugin functions that are made available by our plugin. Since I have FileMaker Pro Advanced installed, I can utilize various additional development tools. I recommend that all developers obtain a copy of FileMaker Pro Advanced to aid and assist during the development process. Let's open the Data Viewer, navigate to Watch, and select Add Expression here. In the upper right-hand corner from the drop-down list, I will select External Functions. Here I will find a list of all available external plugin functions. All functions are prefixed with their unique function header. For example, we can see that all Change Printer plugin functions are neatly organized beneath the plugin name and all begin with PCCP as shown here. The naming convention of the plugin functions are determined by the plugin manufacturer. Now that I have the plugin installed and registered, I can use these additional functions made available by the plugin. For detailed descriptions of each plugin function, please refer to the plugin documentation provided by Productive Computing. Lastly, let's discuss the plugin checker script. This script ensures that the plugin has been properly installed and registered before attempting to use any of the other plugin functions. 
This script can be created in less than 10 minutes and is recommended in a multi-user environment in order to alleviate any user frustration or error. The three functions used to create this script are PCCP version, which determines if the plugin has been properly installed, PCCP git operating mode, which determines what mode the plugin is in, and PCCP register, which registers the plugin behind the scenes if needed. Let's look at these FileMaker script steps now. First, let's check to see if the plugin is installed by calling the version function. This version function will return empty results or a question mark if the plugin is not installed. We can show a custom dialog if the plugin is not installed, alerting the user, and it might even be a good idea to go back to the main setup layout and halt the script. Next, let's check to see if the plugin has been properly registered by determining the operating mode. If the git operating mode function does not equal live, then we will call the register function, hard code the four parameters including your license ID, and register the plugin behind the scenes. If the registration result does not equal zero, then we can display a dialog that the plugin registration failed, alerting the user and halting the script. Once you have created the appropriate plugin checker script, you can now simply add this script step at the beginning of any scripts using the plugin functions. There are various ways you can implement and write a plugin checker script. The version, git operating mode, and register functions are explained in further detail in the plugin documentation. This is just one example to get your creative juices flowing. Now we can begin to integrate the plugin into your FileMaker solution. Please make sure you utilize all available tools provided, such as additional training videos, documentation, and reverse engineer our demo file. If you need additional assistance, contact us via email, phone, or browse our forum for answers. We are happy to assist you with any integration steps or even design a solution for you. Thank you for watching and happy file making!